Okay, this is Paul, Inventor 3, getting ready to try our, uh, well not getting, getting re not getting ready to try it, getting ready to make it, bake it, you could say, <laughs> make it and bake it. Okay, here's a chain of uh, diodes, uh, I think they were 1N... Uh, 4R007 rated to 1000 volts each. Uh, there's our NST transformer rated at 15,000 volts, 60 milliamp. Um, and there's one mega ohm resistor, half watt, right there. <coughs> Uh, which should bring our current down to 15 milliamp. So, oh, gotta watch them wires. Here we are. Here's our capacitor here uh, and our special wax in there. Very hard wax. Uh, four clamps. Uh, the wax should melt and get soft at a much lower temperature than those clamps, hopefully. Uh, so, we're ready to heat it up until the wax gets soft and simultaneously uh, be applying, applying the power. Uh, until the wax gets soft, which should be between, uh, well, melting point is between 175 and 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so, we'll, uh, we'll have to watch our temperature and watch the wax carefully. Poke it with a stick every now and then. <clears throat> Our copper plates are kind of thin. The clamps are pushing against them. The wax is hard and brittle. You have to be careful not to get the uh, break the wax. I had to first. It came in chip form. I had to melt it in a pie pan first. Uh, make sure the wax is a little bit larger in diameter than your plates. There. Don't want to short it out at this time. Uh, once it's soft, turn off the heat, keep the power applied for, and, well, until it cools, until the wax is hard, and then keep power applied still for an additional one hour. Then, to take the entire capacitor, uh, do not remove the clamps. You cannot let the plate shift from the wax, which will be tricky because as the wax uh, hardens, it'll uh, expand and uh, it'll constrict uh, when it cools, so I don't think it'll adhere well to the metal plates. So that's why you have to keep the clamps attached the entire time, and if the sh plates shift or move from the plastic once we are done, then we will lose all power and energy and we got to start back from point zero. Uh, so pretty much the thing has to stay clamped forever and once it's cooled, once you've applied your power for an hour after it's cooled, then you have to take it out and wrap the entire thing with aluminum foil completely shorting it out. And this is the best way to store it when not in use and then you have to let it store for and sit there, short it out for at least a week. And then we will try it and see what happens. So. Make sure to watch the next video. I'm sure the results will be interesting. Thanks for watching. See you the next time.